Hello, Carl here with Sustainability Theory News. We're over at WaldenEffect.org, and they're talking about an experiment in creating a heated floor greenhouse with a waterbed heater. So it's basically a pad, that's this green thing pictured here, that they wrapped around a 50-gallon drum. They filled it with water, and they ran a hose through it with a sump pump. The hose is then run through some sand. So they have an unheated greenhouse, and they put a little 2 by 6 frame in there, put, the, um, put a little insulation pad at the bottom of it, put the hose through it, then backfilled it with sand, as you can see a little bit here, and then they put the seed trays on top of that sand. They run hot water through the hose, and it keeps the soil temp at around 65 degrees. Now, this is not very well insulated. They just got a blanket right there. So I imagine if you did this and insulated it well, it could be a pretty effective system to do a DIY heated floors for your greenhouse. Here's a picture and, and, and a link at Amazon.com that will be in the description for a waterbed heater. You could wrap that around a water reservoir and then heavily insulate that reservoir. That's the key is heavy insulation. Now, you can heat the air of a greenhouse, but heating water is typically much more efficient and effective at transferring heat. And maybe it's not electricity. Maybe you don't have electricity. Perhaps you could create a rocket mass stove or oven with a uh, metal piping that collects the heat, heats up the water, then heats up the floor. It might be a little more difficult to temperature control. This one, it's just on a timer. It runs a circulation pump about every half hour. But you know what? This is nice for the cheap and effectiveness of it. I think it's pretty innovative. So, of course, the link for this page will be in the description. And if you'd like to see more news headlines like this, subscribe to my channel. Have a great day.